really firmly attached. Very solid Velcro construction. It's a sunny Saturday morning, and these middle school kids are getting ready to race. How would you adjust your solar panel to collect more sunlight? Uh, we would not. We would turn we the would car around and then go backwards. <laughs> that works. It's the 2011 Junior Solar Sprint. <gasps> Sorry. It's a solar car design competition and drag race. The wheel came off! And our wheel came off. There's a lot of different aspects to building one of these cars. They've got to build a chassis, they've got to do the wheels and the gears and the solar collection. So there's a very, very broad range of things that need to be considered in order to make a competitive car. He's hitting the wood, so we need to file it more. <laughs> it's a way to make learning science and engineering fun. Ask any teacher, and if you really want to get somebody to become an engineer, they really need to start looking at math and science courses in middle school. Each student gets a solar panel and an electric motor. And that's all that they need to start their process. After that, it's their own designs. We use some, a straw, we use some tape. The competition was started by the National Renewable Energy Lab in the early 80s. It's open to any 6th, 7th, or 8th grader. <laughs> Can you hold us over the, like, make the shadow like that? Kids get to work together, have some fun, and learn about alternative energy in San Diego. Well, solar energy is one type of energy that you can use without batteries and all that. Solar energy is that the sun comes in this panel and creates enough power to make the motor spin. And so the gears spin, so the wheels spin, so the car goes forward. If what they've learned today keeps them motivated, Good race, guys. who knows what these kids will be designing down the road. <laughs> Give us one of your teachers. For CTN.org, I'm Suzanne Bartol. That's it. Thank you all very much. Congratulations.